my God, Phil! Hey. Hey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hashtag mga athlete. I'm still here. <laughs> yep, you're really. You're, remember what I told you before? Like you're you're more mama than athlete now. Right now, yeah, for almost <laughs> for a year now. Well, I'm still a mama athlete. I work from home. Uh-huh. I have the best job working out. <laughs> like, and uh, syempre homeschooling, di ba? Pero last year was tough then kasi everyone was adjusting and everyone was like um, uncertain pa rin na ano ba mangyayari? Do we have a league? Are we going back? It says, sabi two weeks and now it's a year. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Time really flies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you know what? Um, remember the last time us three, we were together. We were at your coffee shop, Luna. Luna, that was the best. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that, that was such a fun yeah. interview. A lot has happened since then, though. Uh, diba? That time, you only had two kids. Now you have three kids. <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. I work hard. Mama, that's why my hashtag is Mama Athlete. I really work hard. <laughs> and, and then status changed from single to married. So mm-hmm. she's married now. And let's not talk about me. I mean, because this episode is about Phil. Uh, so how's it? Because there's no change. Oh, my God. Like a status. Mo? <laughs> status. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just happy you two are moving up. I'm just happy you two are moving up in life. Yeah. We're all moving up. We're all moving up. Okay. Yeah. Phil, how's life for you nowadays? I mean, you look great. I Can I just oh, start you. off by saying that? Uh, how, right? how, how's life been for you nowadays? Yeah. Thank you, Anton. If I look made up, I did make up myself just for the show. Because like, I'm just at home, diba? Parang I don't usually put on makeup at the day like may ganap ako so nag makeup ako <laughs> just to make life exciting anyway you guys said earlier na it's we're we've been in lockdown or like we had this pandemic for a year now more than a year now diba? it started march and life has been can i just say i i can say na my good days and my bad days <laughs> like good days of course i get to stay at home with the kids like yung yun nalang yung silver lining ko with the kids na they always think that this time was like mama was always home. Mm. Malamang na lang na ako ay lino. <laughs> mama was always home. Yung bad days lang is that sometimes ang hirap gumising for workout or kaya may bad days with the kids. Yung tantrums or yung san, tough day in school, homeschooling. Kasi like for us, parents, parang homeschooling was like imposed for um, imposed in us na parang, oh, you have to go online na, Zoom na kami, no more face-to-face. And I'm like, I sent my kids to school to have a break from them. Now they're with me 24-7. As in like, <laughs> like before this interview, kasama ko silang tatlo sa room. Ako lang, kasama silang tatlo. They all were staying here and I had to kick them out. So like, Mama has an interview. Mama has an interview. So, <laughs> yun lang. They're so clingy. And yeah, I love it naman then I get to like um for the kids i get to know them better yung mga personalities sobrang iba and i, I share photos kay then then uh, inaanak niya si Lily yeah and even yeah. the kids ayun and so far naman life has been okay here like i'm just in the house bubble like i'm scared to go out then it's only willing no who works and goes out every day and syempre you have to take um different precautions then uh, sometimes he doesn't go home when he's gonna go around talaga. And, yun, basta ako talaga, mommy lang talaga ako dito. And, yun, conclude na naman na housewife ako dito. <laughs> it's not easy. I mean, being an athlete, being a mama, mm-hmm. being a housewife, that's, that's mm-hmm. tough to juggle, but you make it look so easy. No, yeah. hindi, mahirap, mahirap siya. May ba- Sabi ko nga may bad days, eh, na parang, Sometimes mm-hmm. I run, sometimes I hide from the... <laughs> I promise, I promise, I, I sometimes hide talaga from them na parang... Pero then, it, it ends up na they seek out. So parang fine, lamas na ako. <laughs> yeah. Dan, are you ready for that life? I'm, I'm taking notes na from Phil. We always talk. <laughs> yeah! I'm Just getting ready with me. na. They're not oh my soon. God. Parang may play dates na tayo. Oh my gosh! Oh! <laughs> yeah. Hindi na lang passion yung pag-uusapan natin. 
Well, Phil, we turned pro just this year. PVL, we're so lucky that we get to do what we love at a professional level. Yeah. But also, if you guys didn't know, Phil has an older sister who played yeah. basketball. And she was the number one pick in the N- WNBL draft. So congratulations. Mm. To Yay. Her name is yeah. also Phil. Uh, yeah, and she's a doctor Phil. also. Can you believe that? Doctor in Seattle. Phil. Know. That's, that's really like, it blows my mind how she's able to you know, become a doctor and a professional athlete. So yeah. tell us what it's like growing up together with Ate Phil. Were you both into sports from the beginning? We were born in Bacolod. We're from Bacolod. Hello, Eva Ilonga. Hello. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I could remember na nagba-basketball na siya sa car park namin, sa garage namin. May nagpagawa siya ng ring kasi shooting-shooting na siya doon. Ako wala, nakikita na rin sa aso. So mm-hmm. I could remember na talagang basketball talaga yung love niya. And when we moved to Manila, doon na kami sa Saints ko, Saints ko, Saints Classical College, Manila. Doon na na-discover yung ate ko. Tapos kasama rin ako. Grade 1 ako, grade 2 siya. So, when I was in grade 1, nagbabasketball ako. But then, nagbabali ako noon. So, conflict ng schedule. Gusto ko mga balay-balay pa doon. Mga kikaista. <laughs> Pero yung ate ko talaga yung nag-pursue ng basketball. And growing up as athlete, masaya na I get to watch her game. So, mahilig lang talaga ako sa basketball kasi like, Siyempre siya ate, I watch her games. Tapos, manood siya ng NBA. NBA sa TV, nandun din ako. Or maglalaro siya ng 2K, nandun din ako. So, I really am, I also enjoy watching basketball. And at least, na-train niya na ako. Kasi nga, now, si Lino mahilig din sa basketball. So, nakikinood ako. Tapos, ano, na-train niya lang ako, manood lang lagi ng games. Manood lang ako ng kahit 2K. Silang dalawa. Silang dalawa nag-2K. So, okay lang. Happy naman ako nandun ng um, basketball with them. And yun nga, I guess, kahit nag-basketball siya, ako, volleyball, growing, growing up as athlete, really helped us, especially sa college, sa scholarship, was a big deal na for our family and for my parents na naka-help kami doon sa scholarship sa college kasi we were able to go in sa mga top universities like siya, UP, ako nag-Ateneo. So, ba diba, sobrang laking bagay sa amin yung basketball and volleyball sa buhay namin. Phil, is she also the only Phil Claudine in the whole world? I I think so. Because remember, so, you you yeah. told us that you're the only Phil Saint Merced. Saint Merced, yeah. <laughs> actually, it's a actually, name. Like, thank you. Actually, mm. ngayon marami na nag Phil. Like, minsan may nag-approach sa akin, oh, yung Phil, or kaya may psychologist oh. na Phil. Yeah, marami ng names sa Phil. Tapos sabi ko, gaya, gaya. Joke, gaya. Ayun. Yeah. Yun nga. So now ngayon na na draft din yung sister ko. I'm so happy na may platform na for for ba- women's basketball din na they waited so long. Kaya nga yung ate ko parang she decided to join the draft and to like um um pursue this career naman in professional basketball kasi nga it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and like Lino told us if you could play the whole your whole life, diba? Parang ang hirap din naman siyempre for our career. Diba? Except si Lebron James. <laughs> Grabe siya. Yan yun nga. Sabi ko, yung ate ko took that um, leap of faith. And yun nga, we were surprised na first pick siya. I was like, oh my God! Actually, si Kyle Negrito nagsabi, nag-tweet sa akin or nag-direct message sa akin. Uy, first pick yung ate ko. Oh my gosh, yung gosh. Ganyan. So, hindi niya pa alam actually nung sister ko kasi nasa OR siya, no? Nung drafting time. He was, he was in the middle of an operation. But they were watching the draft. Ano may iPad sila nas nag oor sila doon. <laughs> Tapos naiyak siya. And at the same time, naiyak din ako. So, after ng OR niya, tinawagan ko yung ate ko. Tapos umiyak siya. Kasi parang, wow, I can't believe it. I'm so proud of her. Kasi nga, parang, she took that chance. And now, parang number one pick. Parang, what? That's crazy. And like, kami ngayon, kami ni Lino, parang all out support. Oh, do you need shoes? What do you need? Do you need a trainer? Oh my gosh, do you need a shooting coach? Let's go. Like, you know ba? Well, yun nga sabi namin, once in a lifetime, like, if you can go all out with all the resources, the resources that you have or you can give, why not? Like, even myself, the bad professional na tayo, like, nag nagka-home gym ako bigla, di ba? <laughs> nagka-home gym ako bigla kasi parang trabaho yun eh, di ba? Mm. And syempre, kung sabihin ng coach, oh, gantong weights kailangan, oh, kaya kailangan mo tumakbo, di ba? 
nagka-home gym bigla. <laughs> na, natawa ka. Yeah. I, I saw you running on your treadmill. Di ba nag-comment yeah, ka? Yeah, you messaged me. Nag-comment ka. Ang bilis mo eh. Ang bilis mo kasi. Thank you. Yun. Siyempre, di ba? Parang, tapos nagpo-post ako ng mga ab photo. Parang makita ng mga boss ng, ano, na, fit pa siya. <laughs> parang marinyo yung mama. Parang, 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 parang marinyo yung kontra. <laughs> magre-review na do you want contract session ko sabi ko sa mga boss o oh, nakita niya ba yung mga post-post pa ako siya para naman maramdaman yun na fit na fit ako <laughs> yung play, ready yung to play ways. ready to play yes. so, those are some of the ways pala to get your contract renewed ha <laughs> <laughs> wow, may abs may abs may. sabi ko kasi kay coach Mark our trainer sabi ko gusto ko ano like nasa quarantine tayo so why not work on myself or my body na parang gusto ko may abs ako by the end of the year <laughs> so may, 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 parang na-achieve naman para more ano pa more work what I heard before Phil was you were a ballerina talaga when, when you were young yeah yeah and then um, what, what made you shift to volleyball in the fifth grade I mean from yun nga, watching well, your ate and then ballerina tas volleyball in the fifth grade. How, how did that transition happen? Yeah, I wanted ballet because it's so cute <laughs> and so girly. But then, masyala ng girly and ma-artist for me. <laughs> but I, I was happy with that stage of my life to get to, you know, Uh, mingle with other girls na as me. And yun, yeah, I think nung grade 5 talaga, grade school, grade 5, fun-fun lang talaga. Kasi sa Saints ko dati, cemento pa, tapos open court. Yeah. So, makikita mo talaga nag-volleyball yung mga girls doon, mga high school, grade school, high school, makikita mo sila sa school namin. So, kami dalawa, nung best friend ko si Zara Lasak, may bola siya. Siya yung may bola. So, ako yung partner niya. So, nag-ABC lang kami dyan sa gilid. Tapos, nung nakita kami ni Coach Aji Coronel doon, nag-volleyball, sabi, sali daw kami. So, kahit naka-uniform kami, sumali na kami yung training. Naka-school uniform kami, sumali na kami. <laughs> Tapos, next training, yun, nag-ano na kami. Nag, nag-workout close na kami. And, yun nga, I think, nung grade 5, it started us out as parang fun-fun lang for us ng mga classmate ko, nung friend ko si Zara. And then it turned out to be a career, di ba? And then expect that. Pero nung grade school talaga, as in like, sobrang saya ko pa nag-volleyball. Like, kaya long week, long day ako. Parang ako, shit, ano bang, ang boring ng araw na to. But then, maisip ko, oh, five o'clock may training ako. So parang, <laughs> I really look forward to it. And that, parang doon nagsimula yung love mo na. Yung, Ma- ma-realize mo na love mo yung sport kasi nga, you look forward to it. Even in high school, nung high school ako, you look forward to it. Parang kapag long day, tough day, parang at least may volleyballs at the end of the day. Kasi gabi yung training namin. Usually, volleyball training namin gabi or ha- hapon to gabi. And even in college din, na parang, oh, parang, yun nga, disiplina na na parang minsan may games, masaya, di ba? May training. You look forward to it. Still, no high school, when you were still in high school with Z, kayo Tama. yung team to beat. In Saints ko was the Kalaban team to kita. beat. Oh. Kalaban kita! Kalaban kita! Kapag bata ko pa nun. Paano namin sila matatalo? They're so good. Kamusta ba yung training nyo in Saints ko? Your coach was Coach, coach Offie, Offie, no? Yeah. Yeah, Coach Offie Parel. We love her. And I guess yung training, actually yung training namin doon, twice a week lang, Tuesday, Thursday. Tapos minsan may kaagaw pa kami sa three, sa court. Like, five to seven lang kami. Tapos twice a week. Or three times, minsan may Saturday. Pero like, every time na may training, so, lalo pag summer, may training, alis ka lang bahay para mag-training kasi may baon. Yes! Pero yun nga, parang, kahit, last in like, narealize ko, nung grade school, high school, Um, hindi ko naisip yung training as training. Pero sobrang saya ko kung may volleyball. And syempre with sila Z, um, I guess, yung, yun na, parang yung training sang namin mabilis lang. Pero kami, more of quality talaga. And I guess yun din si Coach Office, yun na one man na kami. Hindi ko alam na yun one man niya kami. Hindi ko alam, like dati, two minutes, parang ako, ay, hindi ko alam na tawag pala doon one man. <laughs> Tapos yan, Tapos, yeah, I guess yung mga naka-help din na nakakalaban namin yung college team ng Saints ko. Nakaka-tune up team namin. Or even like, nag- nag- nag-visit yung mga ibang coaches, like sila Coach Mia, na nakakalaro namin nung, pre- nung high school pa lang. And of course, nakatulong din sa amin ni Z yung exposure sa palarong pambansa, di ba? Favorite ko yun. Sobrang favorite ko yung 
palarong pambansa or NCR meet. Doon tayo nag nagalaman tayo sa Milo. Milo. Diba? Milo nag WN or mas Milo no. Milo WN. or Milo. Milo doon kita nakikita. Gitna ka pa noon eh. Yes. Hey, <laughs> sige, mo gitna si Den. Ayun. So yan and then yung exposure nga. Nakalaro rin kita sa NCR meet, 'di ba? May picture tayo. Yes. At Makati ka, Manila ako kasi sales ko Manila, Makati. I think one year lang tayo nag-abot sa NCR. Mm-hmm. Pero uh, may may photo, may receipt na kalaban tayo. It is evil. Yeah, and yun nakatulong din sa sa amin, sa, sa music, syempre selection kami. Nakatulong din sa amin yung exposure namin sa NCR meet, sa palarong pambansa. Kaya siguro din na uh, umangat din yung yung volleyball program sa Saints ko Manila. Okay, real quick, how did those games go? Um Makati versus your Pan- Panalo <laughs> kami. Panalo. Hello, hello Jen Ferrer set for namin. <laughs> hey, Alay, diba? mo ka taga UST pa, taga UP. Oh, Alay sa Manila. Drea de Maculangan. Sino mm. ba? Lakas namin. Panlakas Kamar- nila. Mm, Manila. Either, Kamar- it's either Manila or QC usually. Oo. Uh, uh, basta kasi sa sa Manila, yung hope talaga malakas eh. Hindi namin matalo-talo dahil kay Jem na yan eh. Oo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, drop one lang. Oo. Or kayong ganun bigla. Yan. Lumaba naman si Den. Naka, I mean, you were able to sneak okay. in some points. <laughs> Yeah, no. ano? Hindi, sobrang tagal na nun. Oh. Pag ano, pag habang tumatandaan, mas lumalakas ka. Kasi yung kwento mo, harang ganto. Oo, ang galing ko nun. <laughs> oh, oh, magaling ako nun. Pag may oh. kids na ako, ganun yung kwento ko. Oh, Pero oh. now, wala. I was, I was really bad. <laughs> no, you weren't. Kitna ka. Ano ba? Well, compared oh. to the other middles, because I was small, eh, di ba? Compared yeah. Compared to the I'm not I'm not saying yeah you're small pero like kaya mo mag middle pero like for a college level. Para wag na tayo doon doon tayo doon tayo sa wings. Oo. Oh, oh. Libero na lang. <laughs> All right, college level. Nagulat, wait. Nagulat ka ba libero ka ng college or next expect mo? <laughs> Actually, kasi no third year pa lang ako, ginawa ko libero for the RPU. Tapos, okay. wala nagulat ako na kinuha ako ni Coach Roger for Ateneo. Doon ako nagulat. Not really oh. for the libero position. Mm-mm. I do remember your ano, entrance there. Kayong batch yung mga beshies. Mm, yeah. College, how'd you... I mean, you told us this story a while back. Um, sinabi mo kay Jem, kung saan ka, doon ako pupunta. Yeah. And then kayo ni Melissa going na sino now. So you guys were also talking pero pumunta siya sa Kalaban. I know. So Parang, uh, ano yun? Like how did you end up in Ateneo and were there other options for you? Actually, lima ano fresh from Kalarang Pambansa. Yung just usually doon talaga nagre-recruit yung mga coaches from universities, from top um, colleges and universities sa palarong pambansa. Yun yung tradition na kapag may palaro, usually nilipad talaga yung mga coaches. Like even Coach Roger, parang mawawala siya minsan sa training kasi magre-recruit siya sa palarong pambansa. So big deal din talaga for us high school athletes dati na may palarong pambansa para makita din, mas showcase, di ba? Alam mo yun, may chance, may opportunity magkaroon ng scholarship or to play pa rin in college. And Lima kami noon. Tama ba? Lima. Ako, si Z, si Mel, si Jem. Is may isa pa? Or ako, si... Sino ba? Me, ako, si Z, si Mel, think... si Jem. Apat. Yan, apat. Apat kami noon sa NCR team. And I mean, nire-recruit ng Lasal, nire-recruit ng Ateneo, UP, ganon. And yun nga, sinabi ko, ang hirap mag-decide kasi hindi mo naman alam, bata ka pala, just ko bata pa. Parang isip ko ngayon, oh my gosh, so much pressure for college when we're just young, so young, di ba? Okay. And sab kaya, to make it easier for me, jam ko sang kanun ako. <laughs> Sundan kita, jam. Kasi trip yung set mo, so sundan na lang kita. And then, yun, naalala ko pa yun, nag-ano pa kami, nag-dinner pa kami with Lasal. Sarap ng dinner. Kala mo ito nga saan, pero may pictures kami na, nag-dinner kami with Lasal. Siguro, yun, tapos biglang, ang nangyari is that me, Z, and Jen went to Ateneo, tapos si Mel, nahiwalay nga eh. Yun nga eh. Yung, yung ngayon is, well, si Mel, I'm pretty close with her right now. Like, and, 
I consider that college years as our limbo years of our friendship. <laughs> kasi magkalaban kami. Magkalaban kami. And I think strict din kasi si Coach Shamil mm. with the players about talking to, to other peers. Ganyan dati, strict siya. Ewan ko lang ngayon. <laughs> Pero like, syempre, di ba, naging rivals na rin eventually. Pero hindi talaga kami, wala, limbo years yon. And I guess, yun nga, kami ni Z, um, Z, ako, Jem, parang, when we entered Ateneo, sobrang bago. para nag-overhaul yung Ateneo volleyball program. And there were players na natanggal. Tapos biglang nung final lineup, sampu lang kami. And then new coach pa. So parang five rookies. Ako, si Z, si Jem, si Gretchen Ho, hmm. si Elise Nakachi. Yung, yun. So lima kaming, lima kaming rookies. Tapos limang senior. Si Bea Pascual, Steph Gabriel, Nisha Kimpo, April Pahe, Sige pa isa. <laughs> Wait, I remember ko. Tara Acevedo, yun. So, sampi lang kami. So, parang, yun nga, parang nakakagulat man. Pero, I guess, something worked for, di ba? Something worked. It might have taken five years, six years, di ba? For the program to really blossom. And so, makita mo naman din yung fruits na... Sampu lang kami. Kung may mag-absent, bawal mag-absent. Kasi kung may absent pa, wala nang makitara. <laughs> And then like, yun nga, rookie years. It was fun. It was very memorable for me and for my batchmates then. Pero nabanggit mo kanina na bihira lang kayo mag-training in Saints ko. Yet you were still able to make it sa selection team ng palaro. Mm-hmm. So that's an, that's a huge achievement. But coming into college, did you think you were ready for the level of competition sa UAAP? Nalala ko yan. Parang nalala ko yung inisip ko yan. Na parang, mm-hmm. yun nga, syempre may anxiety. Nung first year ako, parang, oh, college level na. Syempre, hindi ko na-expect na first six agad ako, di ba? Ako malamang bench ako, off the bench lang akong ganyan. Nalala ko yung anxiety na parang, Siyempre, iba yung college level, taller players, faster. Iba talaga yung level sa high school. And I guess, um, swerte lang talaga. Nung, as in like, timing lang talaga nang, nung pumasok kami na nag-overhaul yung Ateneo Volleyball Program. Nagbago lahat. At na first six kami kagad, kaming tatlo. Na first, Jem, Z, ako. So parang, di ba? parang na-expose kami kaagad. Kailangan mo talagang yung character building na challenge mo na rin. Pero sa skills why like, you have, wala. Parang andyan yung skills. More of like character building na yung tapang lang talaga na kaya mo tong kayang-kaya mo yung kahit na matatanda like sila. Takot na takot ako dati kay ano, Morat, Morata. Kay oh, ano, Morata. Oo, oh, oh, oh. my God. Kapag nakatawa kasi grabe siya man trash talk. Tapos, parang, oh my God. Oh Kaya sila si Godine ng Adamson. Takot na takot ako noon kasi parang bata pa ako tapos bilang sila ig- ig- mas ikagano-ganan ka. Pero hindi. Mabait sa amin yung FEO. Mabait kapag nung Atenea F, mabait sa amin. Pero yun nga yung kinakatakutan ka rin yung mga trash talk kasi parang I'm such a nene and like I don't know what I'm doing. Ano yung ganun? What was that? Si <laughs> Godine. <laughs> Nanggagalan siya. Hindi ko lang oh, bakit. Yeah, that's her trademark. Mga ganun. Oh, well, what does that mean? Kumurag- I have no idea. <laughs> Or tingin yung bola. Ganun. We should ask her. We should ask her. <laughs> yeah. Ayun yeah. sila siguro. Yeah, oo. So parang, syempre, yung the skills wise naman, di ba, matitrain mo yun eh. Pero, I guess, more of yung tibay ng loob na ngayon eh, sa college level din eh. Of course, si Coach Roger, Laki, laking pahirap din yung pinagawa sa amin ng mga first year kami. So I guess it prepared us. And more of like, yun nga eh, may mga sets kami, may mga teams kami ng first, nung rookie years namin na, oh, ma, ah, mauna kami sa two sets to win, pero matatalo kami sa last three sets. So yun nga, makikita mo din talaga yung pagka-rookie ng team namin. Pero I always, I, hindi ko talaga, lagi ko talaga kinakwento, yung pinaka-memorable game ko is with, with FEU mm. sa FEU gym. Can you believe that? Ngayon, Araneta na tayo. <laughs> Moa. Pero guys, guys, mm. FEU gym kami dati. Tapos, hindi ko makakalimutan. Kalaban namin si Dakis. Nag-time out si Coach Roger. Sorry, tatawa na ako. Nag-time out si Coach Roger. Sabi niya, huwag niyong papapuntusin si Dakis. Dahil, kung pupuntus yan, guguho ang FEU gym. <laughs> Kasi, syempre, Dakis, lahat ng fans, lahat ng 
ng students taga FEU la nang cheers ako taga FEU kami wala kasi home court ni FEU so eh pero nakapunta si Dakis ayun gumuho nga oh my god so one of the most yeah one of the most memorable games ko yon na walang aircon FEU gym tapos nag nag the blackout pa parang parang nagkaka blackout pa kasi hindi ata kaya lahat ng ano pero may coverage na yun eh hindi ata kaya lahat ng machine ng coverage and lights and everything <laughs> nagusto nagba blackout pa pero naalala ko yun nanalo kami first two sets pero natalo kami ng three sets same with Adamson sila Benting mm. yun kalaban namin oh my god even ang Lasal like si Achi Ila Santos mm. oh my gosh parang na ganoon na lang ako <laughs> Eh, <laughs> parang nung pinanood ko siya last, may nung pinanood ka siya, parang may isa sang palo tumuldok lang ng ganoon. Parang ko. Ah. Okay. Yeah, so, 'di ba? Yung mga idols mo kasi dito mo dito makapaniwala na kalaro mo yung mga idols mo nung pinapanood mo lang ng high school. So, yun lang yung college days and college levels. <laughs> I I wish I reached that time yung nasa FEU pa kasi I came in the year after eh, season 72. Mm. That's when I first started covering UAP volleyball and that was your sophomore year. So, yeah. I think I, I think Phil one of the reasons nga kung bakit you know you were endearing to the fans, the fans were drawn to you guys was because yun nga mga bata pa lang kayo pero palaban na. And I think it also helped aside from the fact that magaganda kayo, it also helped no season 72 those uniforms like <laughs> oh yeah you Never already know mom. you you already know where one i'm going piece. with this one yeah. piece one piece uniform red tethers pinag-uusapan yun eh as in bago ako i was i was a rookie commentator in the UAP and they were talking about the Athena uniforms and when i saw them at the court to me it was like wow these uniforms are futuristic <laughs> Yeah, actually kwento kasi inyo yung back story niyan uh, for my my point of view. Uh, actually nag nag-uusap-usap pa lang yung athletics office namin na ano, oy mag one piece kayo, one piece kayo ha. Noong una, ay ako pa iyak ako. <laughs> Parang ang dami ko ni Claudia, ako mag one piece. Pero now, looking back, oh my gosh, I love that we did it. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so risky. <laughs> Pero, di ba, at least masas- masasabi mo na nag-one piece kami, di ba? Now, parang sobrang na-appreciate ko na buto na nag-one piece kami. Maki- masasabi ko ganun yung itsura ko dati. Mm. <laughs> And then, yun nga, kwento ko, mm, kwento ko lang din siya, share ko na rin paano namin uh, mag-CR. <laughs> may zipper dito sa likod. And then may, and then may string. May string yan. May string siya. So, you can pull it down. So, kung yari time out or kaya third uh, third set, lapak mo ka. Mabilis lang. So, huwag kayo mag-alala na nahirapan kami sa One Piece. Masaya siya, actually. Now, I really appreciate na nag-One Piece kami. Kasi, kami lang nakapag-One Piece pa lang, di ba? Yes. And yes. until now, it's being talked about. So, parang, yeah. It's iconic, di ba? It's so, it's, yeah. Are, it is, yeah. yeah. It's iconic. But I'm happy na we did that. Or, Our team did that, actually. I was wondering yeah. if it was going to be a trend. Because eh. it's not going to be a trend. That's right. I thought it was going to be a trend. Eh. Because like, you girls were the only ones Kaya wearing learn. that. Diba? Yeah. yeah. Actually, yung, kaya din na uli. Kasi more of technicality na with them, it's changing sponsorship and everything. So, kaya, maybe sa cream line. <laughs> Why yes, are you suggesting? Line, I would get. <laughs> I would dare to wear again, the bar. Maybe it's still managed by. Hello, oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, then. So you'd be down to wear that. It depends. Maglang pan, please, siguro. Maglang yung papan, pa swimsuit. Ay, wag naman ganon. Wait, what do you mean? It depends. <laughs> it depends on the design, on the and the wearability. Uh, well, performance-wise, Phil, parang wala namang problema eh. Kasi nag-final four yeah. kayo eh. <laughs> Ayaw nga. Diba? First time yung mag-final yes. four eh. First diba? time, yeah. yeah. Diba? So performance-wise, mag- like, um, it was no problem at all. Maybe it was lucky. <laughs> Nakaka-distract. <laughs> Nakaka-distract. <laughs> One last thing about that uniform. I will say this though. I'm not gonna mention names. But like, I came across a, a picture once. Of um, uh, let's just say I'm I'm talking at the time it happened, huh? So 
somehow, some way, the boyfriend of one of your teammates wore that thing for Halloween or something like that. Like I, I do remember no that. I-, I have no idea how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I don't remember who that is. Oh, who is that? Boyfriend, ko ba? <laughs> no, but I, I, when I saw that, I was like, how did this dude get in that thing? I know. <laughs> well, may, may zipper sa likod. <laughs> may zipper sa likod. Yeah, man. Those, yeah. those uniforms everything were, in uh, there. <laughs> yeah. Ayun, sana makapag one piece alert for fun. Bakit yung mga triathletes naman naka one piece ah? 'Di ba? Oh, pwede rin 'to diba? body. Oh, oh. Cuba used to do it. The Cuban national team used yeah. to do it. Yeah. Pero last swim suit talaga. Yeah. Very risky talaga sa mga para pagka roll mo eh. <laughs> <laughs> Something yeah. poise, something poise. Uh-uh. But speaking of trends, Anton wanted to talk about the high socks also. Oh my gosh, I wear high socks. <gasps> yeah, ah, because... Na pasi, sino nagpasimula nung high socks sa atin? ko kasi yung tweet mo, Phil, eh. I saw your tweet. Kasi yeah. diba, when you graduated, o di sila din na yung, ano, yung natira. Mm. <laughs> Nahalala ko. I was at a game. And then, nagko-cover ako. Tapos, I was scrolling my phone. Tapos, nakita ko yung tweet mo. Sabi mo parang, Hey, what happened to our high socks? Tapos pagtingin ko sa court, o oh, nga no, nawala yung high socks. Yeah, naka-mid sock sila. <laughs> well, nag- first, syempre first, hindi ko na alam na issue pala sa iyo, alam, Anton. It was an issue? Pero first, <laughs> nag- yeah, no, it wasn't. Para nagulat lang ako na walang high socks. Pero I think I messaged someone from the team, you then, or Eliza, or Eliza, or Eliza, oh, pati kayo nag-high socks. Wala lang daw, mala. So I guess it's mala. Nag-champion sila. <laughs> Nag-champion sila that year. Pero, nag-champion yung season 81 na naka-high socks. High socks. Yeah, but I, it really depends. Ako, personally, mm-hmm. I love high socks. Parang kapit na kapit. Pili ko, like, nakakompress yung legs yeah, and everything. Oh. It depends naman eh. And, and if it's a team decision, syempre, sunod ka. Pag sinabi niyang team captain yung blue high socks, it's blue high socks tayo. Oh. <laughs> diba? Ganun, ganun naman yung sa team eh. Or it's just sabihin na, Huwag tayo mag-high socks, malas. So, sige, huwag na, huwag na. Ganon. Or huwag tayo mag-black socks. Ano yun yun? Simpleng yeah. offered na to help lang with their games. Kasi, of course, us players, may sarili-sariling ritual. Ritual yan, di ba? So, that so, was your idea? Helps. Your idea? Yun. High socks? Yeah. No, I I entered atin na yun, naka-high socks na sila, Kara ah, Asadedo. Oh sila, God. yung mga ikan, si Kara, sila, Gretsch, kasi, naka-high socks na sila, I rem- if, I can, if I remember well na, Naka-high socks na sila high school pa lang eh. I remember yeah. watching sila Ate Charo pa and Ate Carla. Yeah, Ate Charo. Ang ganda ng high socks. Naka-high socks yeah. na sila. ganda ng legs ni Chafa. Ang bagay na bagay yung high socks, di ba? Right. Oo. Di ba? Sila face out nila. Oo. Yun lang. Yun yung ulang issue, Anton, sa high socks. Yeah, no yeah, tea. Yeah. <laughs> no tea. It's just no like, syempre, bago, bago lang talaga. Nanibago lang parang, oh, kung hindi sila naka-high socks. So, yeah, I didn't, okay. I didn't, I didn't take it na it was an issue or whatever. Okay. Ano lang, parang like, uh, syempre, you guys were doing it tapos uh, you were just wondering, di ba? Parang, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it was an ano, thing for that long pala. <laughs> yeah. Pero trip nila yun eh. So, go. Nag-champion naman sila. Di ba? Hindi ko na rin matandaan bakit kami nag-switch eh. We were all using mid-socks. Mid-socks, you know? yeah. And you were also wearing Kobe's that that year. Yeah. That year. I think oh. that was the first, first time, time nag-Kobe eh. Nag-basketball oh. shoes kami kasi usually ano tayo eh. His oh, no? Pang volleyball talaga. Volleyball, yeah. Mm-hmm. Kung Nike yeah. man, it was for volleyball. I remember. For Adi- you- like, I remember Adidas volleyball shoes din kami second year. Nabuta mo ba yun? Hindi pa. Third year ka pa. Hindi pa. Third year ka pa nung ano. Yeah. Okay. During your fourth year, you were named the team captain. And fourth I remember... Year <laughs> it's all a blur. Okay, fourth year, fourth year. In your okay. fourth year, you were named team captain. Mm-hmm. And I really remember that time because you were always at the dorm, the room now. Yeah, it's I love always dorm. Always studying. And you would always ask us, Oh, kamusta kayo? Kumain ka na ba? Talaga? So, oh my God. Kayo. Like, nung time na yun, very mama na si Phil mm. nung time na yun. Like, ano yung mindset mo when you were named team captain for Ateneo? Um, I think yung 
yung style ni Coach Roger noon was that naka- kasi dami namin ano, seniors na eh. So, na- ang style ni Coach Roger nung is to rotate us. Lahat kami magiging team captain. And when I was named team captain for U- UAAP, no? Mm-hmm. Siyempre, pressure. The pressure was there. Kasi before me was Jem. Or basta may yeah. Yeah, si Jem. So, siyempre, pressure. Like, how would I be as a leader? And siyempre, dami ko pang sinapon siya ati Cha. No, na parang, sabi ko ati Cha, how will I ano, take this role? Sabi niya, sabi niya, I see you as a service leader na you are ready to serve. Kasi, like dati, girl, alam mo yung mga kids ngayon, appreciate it, everything. Alam niyo, girl, papuntang game kami magdadala ng bola, kami magdadala ng tubig, ng Gatorade, ng ice. May, may isang time pa kay Coach, Coach Anto, an- Coach, Coach, Coach Anto, Ato. parang, Ato, na parang sabi, oh, di na kabili lang ice. May ko, ha? Ako pa ba yun? <laughs> Ako pa rin ba yun? <laughs> wala, so, wala. So, wala. Yun pa wala, yung mabigat eh, yung ice. <laughs> Walang ice. Ako, So, parang na, medyo natarayan ko siya. Parang nag-sorry naman ako kaya kung chato kasi parang nakapagod. Parang, ba diba? So, parang I think that was my style. More of like serving. Yun nga, parang a service na parang I show my leadership na to you na parang to serve you. Oh, ano ba kailangan nyo? What do we need? Parang what do we have to do to to achieve this? So, parang meeting tayo lagi. And yun yung I guess na-realize ko na style ko of leadership is through service then And syempre, na-realize ko rin na Grabe din pala yung hirap natin kasi like sobrang pampered na ng mga girls ngayon which syempre go lang kasi ang dami ng supporters ang dami ng ano na parang dati kami kakabit ng post kakabit, kami kakabit, kakabit ng net kami kukuwala pa yung tubig noon drinking fountain drinking fountain pa noon wala tayong cool na, wala tayong jug drink wala. akit ka doon akit ka doon pila ka sa drinking fountain hindi <laughs> pa usin ka ng hydro flask tapos wala kami service bus kami pa magdadrive sa sarili namin sa game pero ako naman, I enjoy the drive. Parang meditation na rin na parang, ano, parang ritual ko na rin to drive to the game. And, yun, yun lang. I guess, yun yung, nung naging team captain ako, it was a big role. Pero, I had my seniors, and mababait naman sila din. Sila beshies. Mababait naman. Except si Ella. Joke! Joke! <laughs> 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 si Ella? Joke, joke lang. Ano ko lang siya. Pero, <laughs> Lilingasal ko lang siya. Pero kasi si Ella, karakter kasi yan. Like, naging may hirit yung nakakay. Diba? Diba? Ganun talaga karakter. Like, nung nag-quarters tayo, sabi niya, may matatanggal talaga sa bahay. Kasi nag-aaway-aaway na tayo. <laughs> sabi niya, may matatanggal talaga sa bahay ni kuya. <laughs> so, parang, yun nga, parang sinap yung quarters kasi parang nagkakainisan na kami. <laughs> so, that is, uh, and yun, I guess na, I think the fourth year ako team captain din si Chuck Cruz noon eh and I I do remember we have a photo together na nagtotoyin ko so ano at ba coin toss di ba so yeah and mem so parang dati sobrang rival ko si Chuck Cruz kasi parehas kami team captain eh na parang syempre nalala ko pa na pesa na ako noon eh so yan na pa ako sinigawan pa ako sa mukha ko hindi ko alam hindi ko siguro naalala yon pero ako naalala ko yon nung napesa niya ako. Pero na, I'm, I'm super close with Chakos. Like, super close na I message her all the time. Like, nung before pandemic, we go out to dinner. Ganyan. And actually, inaanak ko pa yung si Sol. <laughs> Ayan. So, parang nakakantuwa rin ng mga rivals ko dati nung college. I'm close na rin with them now. Wow, that's Yun lang. crazy. That, yeah. Uh, I, I love how Phil has stories for days. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. I love her stories. Dal-dal ko ba? Dal-dal ko ba? We love it. Oh, we, we love, love it. it. We love okay, it. We love it. Ito, yeah. Phil, um, maybe one of the most heartbreaking and toughest moments in, in my job as a commentator is when the players get injured. Mm-hmm. As in, parang when that happens, parang ayoko na mag-commentate. I don't know what to say. Sometimes nakapanghina, nakapanghina. Oh, yun yun yes. yun yung word. And yeah. um, I remember when when you sprained your ankle, sobrang sakit. As in, and then ilang beses pa rin ni play. You were covering me? No, no, no. You were covering. Ah, okay. It it was, it was, bo- it was, it was boom. boom. Yeah. And it was I was watching it from my girlfriend's house mm-hmm. at the time. <laughs> So I was watching it and then when it happened I was like like I was I was in shock and then yung yung pag turn pa ng ankle mo 
Mm-hmm. Parang it wasn't 90 degrees eh. Parang it was more than 90 I degrees. I have a photo eh. And then it happened right in front of Den. As in, Den was behind you nung gumulong ka. I, I watched the replay like recently eh. So like, pero na, the, the amazing thing was you were able to come back after just three games. I thought you'd be out for much longer. Mm-hmm. So, how, how did you overcome that moment? Because I mean, every athlete at some point in their careers they have to overcome injury. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, I don't remember kalikot ko pala si Den nun. <laughs> Pero lagi talaga siya kalikot, nasisipa. Yes, so parang, na magkatabi. So, so parang normal na siya sa akin. <laughs> Pero when that time, kalaban Lasal, five, mm, it was five, Lasal. five sets, fifth you, set you na You guys yun. were winning. You guys were winning. Mm. Yeah. Pang fifth set na yun. Yun yung game din na sinare down ko si Mika Reyes. Siguro kinarma. <laughs> And then, pero, pero we were, we were like, Sobrang fifth set na yun eh. And everyone everyone in the team were getting cramps. Jem na cramps. Si Eliza kina cramps. Ako okay pa naman. Pero like, I guess na lang talaga pagod na rin talaga na bad landing. Bad landing na pagkapalo ko. I think yung set ni Jem bitin. So parang gumanon ako. But then, Sir Kyo Pili na told me na when he's watched my replay, it's good that I rolled over. Kasi if I just sat down or like, sa parang all my weight like parang binagsak ko lang I could have sat on my foot and could have broken it but like sorry medyo gory but what I heard was that when I landed I heard a crack like that and then a crack back so I guess it went back and then when I fell down buti daw nag roll over ako kasi yun nga at least mas na break yung fall ko hindi yung parang plakda lang na like na like sino ba nakaupo recently then like mine na si Gemma Galanza pero si Gemma Galanza same kami ganun diba sobrang ano pero ngayon MVP na siya diba so you really can diba it's just a testament na you can go recover from any injury and I guess um swerte na rin na fifth year ako noon so less um manaka, nagmamasters lang ako noon so yung classes ko was like gabi lang so te- todo therapy talaga and I I do admit na hindi talaga ako nakabalik ng 100%. Kasi masakit pa rin talaga eh. Yung sabi ni Boom na, based on statistics, bu- nag-half yung point um, output ko. Which is true. Kasi nga, injured eh. Parang kahit, kung nga, i-flex i- kung ganun, i-jump kung ganun, may pain eh. And mm-hmm. I was trying to recover pa rin. And parang, syempre, ganun talaga. You get injured and you, re- you try to recover. Pero that was my super, yun na lang. That's what was my one and only major injury in my volleyball career. Yun lang talaga, yung one na yun. Na parang, now, looking back, parang shocks, what did I do wrong? Which, ang dali ko ginawa wrong. <laughs> Kaya parang, sana, sana, sabi ko, nag-protein shake ako, or like, mas nag-ano ako, <laughs> yeah, yung mga diet ko, college diet, fast food. Parang, ano, <laughs> fast food. So parang, or kaya, nag, more, mo, nag-work, nag-extra work conditioning ako. And now, na parang professional ako, dun, ngayon ko natutunan na, you have to take care of your body. And I do ko si Lebron James, yung sa career niya, na 36 years old, na parang, grabe pa rin siya, mag-dunk, and like, yun talaga, you have to invest in your body. Na parang sana sinumulang ko nung college na nag- nagtamang conditioning, protein shake, right diet. Tapos naisip ko, natutunan ko sa isang uh, import namin sa Pukari, si... Mick, what, wait, I, I forgot. Isaac? Ma- yeah, Isaac. Isaac. Michelle Strizak. She eats during the game. I was like, what? Oh, nga naman. But she, I mean, she has... um protein or like chocolate or like protein protein uh, bars yeah protein. she eats during wow. the game sabi ko oh why do you eat sabi ko you play for two hours your body needs fuel ako nga naman ba di ko nagagawa yun parang if you're parang bug bug for two straight hours you need fuel so parang ba di ko nagagawa yun dati parang ang dami mo like in my career na rin na diba looking back to that day na what would have ha- ha- have done differently. Na parang eto nga pala. Na parang you learn hard, the hardest way. <laughs> Pero yun lang. It was like a learning moment for me. Then now, na professional na ako na parang I'm really strict na with what I eat, na what I put in my body. I cannot believe I eat fast food. For, for breakfast. Siya, yeah, yeah. College diet. Eh. So, syempre naka-budget. Pero ngayon, di ba? Sabi ko, if you have the resources naman to get the best 
um, the, we have the best food, get the best trainer, get the best everything, diba? why not? Diba? And extend my volleyball career. Pero going back to that injury, it was a life lesson na parang um, if you get injured, parang you can you can really go back, especially now the science and everything, all the therapists, na, all the therapy, all the centers you can go to na available na for us. Like, ang dami natin kilalang players. Yun na, kanina si Gemma Galanza, si Kat Valentino. Yeah. Ang dami natin kilalang players. Even Z Hervasho, mm. di ba? Mm. Na ACL siya before, but now she's a, a, a SEA Games bronze medalist in um, beach volleyball, di ba? So, um, kasama sa career mo yung injuries and it's mm. a test of character then how you recover. Kasi minsan, nakatakot din talagang bumalik. Even me. Actually, I call my pregnancy injuries. <laughs> kasi parang, kasi it's an op- I get um, I'm CS so it's an operation. Mm-hmm. So, yun, parang yung anxiety mo bumalik or like how to build again. Nandiyan pa rin. Pero like right now, I guess na nak- nag-stop tayo for so long eh. Di ba? A year? One year tayo nag-stop. Pero like, ako, mas kampante na ako ngayon na kaya kong bumalik. It will take time pero nag- conditioning naman tayo all throughout, it's more of the skills eh, pagbabalik ka. It's more of the muscle memory. That's what I learned going back three times. <laughs> going back three times from my three pregnancies na um, kaya mo, kaya kong mag-conditioning, kaya mo, it's the skills talaga na hahabol na sa skinary, sa spiking. Isipin mo, kahit injured ka, in, di ba, tagal mo nawala. So, babalik ka, galing injury, ang hirap bumalik sa skills kasi like, what I learned is that sa spiking, dati, automatic, ngayon, kailangan ko isipin, dapat nanto ang talon, dapat may core, dapat mabilis yung palo, dapat malakas yung wrist, may power. Ang dami mong iisipin o, al- ulit sa muscle memory mo na dati, automatic na. Hmm. So, yun yung, I, I guess, yung challenge talaga for people who got injured. Yun yung challenge na kailangan harapin para bumalik sa 100%. More of mental na lang eh. Kasi you, you can build it. You have therapists. You have PTs for team. You have, di ba? You can get all, everything now is available. So, it's more of mental toughness na lang din talaga bumalik. And I guess, everyone, maninibago din talaga pag bumalik. Kaya may exciting ngayon yung PBL kasi nga everyone, zero. Back to zero lahat. Mm-hmm. Uh, work back again. Yeah. Yun lang. Yung share ko lang yun. <laughs> But that's, that's totally true. You have to invest in yourself. Yeah. Like you're an athlete. On your mm-hmm. nutrition, your, mm-hmm. your uh, therapy. Yeah. If you put inside your body, it really helps sa performance. Mm-hmm. Phil, sobrang laking bagay ng batch mo for Ateneo. I mean, the program started with you guys. Mm-hmm. So, these recent championships, it, it really started with yung yung batchmates nyo, kayo nila Coach Roger, yung Fab mm-hmm. Five and Coach Roger. But it wasn't only Ateneo that you know, rose to popularity because of you guys. It was Philippine volleyball also. Mm-hmm. You're a big, you guys are a big part of that. Did you ever think that volleyball would be this big? I mean, we just turned pro. Who would have thought of that? Right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Personally, parang dream come true ko palang nung college, nung mag lalaro na sa Araneta. Like, hindi ko na ma-imagine na, I mean, na makakalo tayo sa, ano, Thriline Manila Arnett and mm-hmm. MOA. So, parang, mm-hmm. when I started, yun nga, when I started nung first year, parang, silent dream ko na, sana lumaki ganito yung volleyball. And then, lucky for me, when we graduated, nagkaroon na profession, not pro- parang more of like club teams, di ba? Yeah. Sa batch din namin, like, starting club teams. So, parang, after college, we're, we were so fortunate na meron coming career, volleyball career after college. And I guess from that, from that mga club teams, nag-grow na rin yung sport na sa volleyball na this big, na this very talked about. And ang daming fans na really appreciate the game and are into each player, into the game, di ba? So nakakatuwa na is that something you love and something you're, you're really passionate about is that parang, kayo, parang may chance ka to share it na parang, uy, masaya to. Parang, parang nood kayo, parang young girls, di ba? Young girls, college girls na nagalaro and everything. Now, SEA Games recently, 2019, Diba? We get to represent the country. You guys got to represent the country. And like seeing you, my college teammates before in the national team, it's like, wow, diba? Parang it's gotten so big na 
'di ba? Even Jaja Santago is like making international waves in Japan. Na, 'Di ba? Parang nakakatuwa na we are on this level and I hope na we continue to uh, um grow as a sport and as a community then na uh, we should lift each other up na as a community na 'di ba? Support each other sa team natin. And each club team then the ba na right now I'm so excited now 12 teams to be there it's it's daunting oh my gosh you have to fight 12 teams for 12 teams but like I I really believe that it will um elevate the level of Philippine volleyball with this PVL um I'm really looking forward na matuloy na sana hopefully we're, we're all praying na matuloy matuloy yung ligang ito kasi nga parang We missed it and we need something just, 'di ba? We need something to entertain us and, 'di ba? Ka tayo mga players. We're just we're ready, nagaantay lang tayo talaga. Yeah. But we have to be safe first. Everyone needs to be safe. No one's mm. safe until everybody is safe, 'di ba? So syempre safe is and, 'di ba? I mean, everyone naman is really exercising and, you know, 'di ba? Health protocols and especially for us, experience natin with community ni ano, Herbesco, they're really still taking care of us. 'Yon. And that's why it's so nice to talk to people like you, Phil, because yun nga, you personally experienced the growth of volleyball from mm-hmm. before it became as popular as it is today. So we're, we're very thankful to have people like you okay. on the show. Okay, may kikwento lang ako ng konti. Um, medyo nagulat ako dito eh. Medyo nagulat ako dito. Then at at this time we weren't friends yet. Eh. We we weren't friends yet. I mean I I interviewed you once but we weren't friends because you you were still playing. Yeah. So so like there is this one time na uh, may BVR sa Samoa. I don't know why I was there kasi mm-hmm. parang hindi naman ako nag-cover eh. But like I was there. I think I was writing. And then I was like I was looking at the teams and I was like what? Phil and Dan Dan in one team? Is this real? Oh, like, that was Christmas. Yeah, It's yeah. Christmas, and, and, and VR. I, it, it was interesting to me because I've never seen Den Den Spike. So I was like, <laughs> okay, I have to watch this. I I, I even have a video. <laughs> so I I think it was even raining. Basta. And, and, yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, I, I was I was watching you guys and then I was like, wow, this partnership is, ano ha, parang kakaiba, Phil and Den. In one team. <laughs> Kwento niyo naman, yeah. how, how, how did that partnership form? <laughs> Oo nga. Beach volleyball. Wala. <laughs> wala. Parang mayaya ka lang. Uy, tara, laro tayo. Sino partner mo? Si Dena. Sige, tara. That's the fun part. That's the fun part of BVR and beach volleyball. You just need a partner too. So parang sabi ni Bea Tan, oh, laro ka. Sige, tara. Sino partner ko? Si Dena. Sige, tara. That's the fun part of beach volleyball. You can play it anytime, anywhere. Di ba? So I guess yung naging partner ko si Dan, parang why not? Di ba? Uh-huh. Middle, middle blocker dati yan. Di ba? <laughs> middle spiker dati. Kaya pumalo niya. Di ba? We're volleyball players. We should know how to play. <laughs> yeah, and defense is the best offense. Right. Kasi so, patagalin yeah. ko na lang yung rally. Oh, so, Mapagod yeah. yung kalapan. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, pero fun times yun. I do miss BVR then beach volleyball. Nakakamiss na lang. Lahat nakakamiss actually. Pero that time, anong year ba yun? 20? I think it was 20, 2017. 2015. 2015. 2015. Oh, wow. Kasi oh, yeah. parang I found out late after our games. I found out I was pregnant. <laughs> I was pregnant. Yeah, with Nene. With Nene. With Nene. Yeah, December. December at I was so up. Kaya pala. Pero, di ba? <laughs> Fun times. <laughs> yeah. That was memorable for you. I mean, like, memorable na ng partner tayo. And I missed you, di ba? Tagal din natin. Yes. Two years din tayo ni nakalaro together. So, para akong game. Why not? Di ba? Right. Mm-hmm. Played beach volleyball in college also, di ba? For UAA. Yeah. Kami nila, tatlo kami. Lai, Bea, ako. And then me and Bea yeah. even went to Korea for um yeah. international game. So, not Seoul, pero Bulsan? Bulsan, Korea. Sa beach doon, sa Korea. And we were able to play against um Australia. Alam ko parang kakaiba rin yung ranking doon, pero nanalo kami ng konting... <laughs> eh, nanalo pa kami doon. Nanalo pa kami doon. Oh, nanalo pa kami doon. Oh, pero kami, pero kami prize money. Yay! Ano ba? Pero lang wala tayong prize money kanalos. Pero nung nakita in Japan, um, 
stain da yun, or yeah, stain nata nandun. So, great chances then for us in actually in beach volleyball. Diba third place tayo sa SEA Games? Yeah. yeah. Grabe yeah, pala yung yeah. career mo, Phil. Ang dami mong, ano, dami mong experience. Mm-hmm. Ay, Pati beach volleyball, grabe. Mm-hmm. And then, of yeah. course, the five champ, lima na pala championship mo sa club level. Actually, nalaman ko lang yun sa'yo. <laughs> grabe. Minsan, minsan iniisip ko, alam ko may, may, cha- may ano na raw, kasi minsan iniisip ko, hindi ako nag-champion sa UAP, sige, okay lang. Pero, nung naisip ko ngayon, ay, nakalima na pala ako sa professional career. So, bawi na ako. May, may bonus pa. <laughs> Lahat ng champion may bonus yun na. Yun, yun, bawi, bawi na ako. Hindi man ako nag-champion sa UAP. Lima, nakalima na ako sa professional career ko. Diba? May bonus. May bonus pa. Diba? Diba? Mas higit-higit pa yung binigay sa akin ni Lord. Diba? Right. Ayun. And, and to think, it's you didn't even win all five championships in one team. It was it from different teams. Oh. Yes. Actually, kasi whenever I get pregnant, may new team ako. <laughs> like, kung balik ko, swerte lang, thank you, na nagsa-champion. Parang, I went back as Pet- Petron ba yun? Alam, Alam ko, Petron. Petron, Petron. Petron muna, tas nag-Pokari ka. Tas, I got pregnant, tas Pokari, tas after Pokari, nabisa naman ako, ano ba, what's new? <laughs> I work hard. <laughs> As of Pokari, nag na ako. So, I'm still with Creamline right now. And, yun. Naalala Champions ko, Phil. Eh. Naalala ko, Phil, nung nag-champion ka sa Pokari, first time mo mag-guess sa the score. Hmm, Tapos, nag-selfie okay. pa tayo. Sumigaw ka, I'm here! <laughs> <laughs> I made it! Oh my gosh! I'm famous! <laughs> I made it in my life. I made it in life. Uh, uh, Phil, uh, this is just a fun question. This is just a fun question because I was fortunate enough to have watched and covered your teams when you were playing in the PVL, uh-huh. Pokari and Cream Line. This is just for oh. fun, okay? Okay, so yeah. Sino kaya mananalo kung maglaban? <laughs> yung Pokari, Cream Line. Cream Line and Pokari. Yung Pokari na nag-champion tapos yung Cream Line. Pero hindi, oh kasama, hindi kasama yung mga imports sa Pokari. Ah. Walang oh, sige, all imports. Filipino. Walang all Stryzak. Filipino. Yeah, all Filipino. Ah, Crystal Rivers na. Ano, I remember, ano, kini, ano? You, you gave me the info on Crystal Rivers. Sabi mo, mm-hmm. Anton, nakadungaw pag nagsaspike. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Pero parang sobrang tagal niya pang na-clear ng ano niya, federation niya or ng federation niya bago siya nakalaro. Pero grabe talaga. Like, I follow her on Instagram pa rin and like, I said it to my teammates, yung nakadunga na photo. And she's playing right now and she posted a photo na nakadunga talaga si ate. Ko, shit, pa nag-import yun dito, pag-aagawan yun dito. So, oh, oh, grabe. Anyway. Tapos, naalala ko, patago pa yun eh. Like, um, sinabi, uh, uh, sinabi mo sa akin, Anton, magugulat silang lahat sa bago namin import. I guess, kaya kami nanalo kasi feeling ko na windang din si Bali Pier nung pumalo backline. <laughs> Parang, oh. Kahit si ano na yun, tatanpan to, ano, si Gata, na, na ano rin eh. <laughs> Pero I guess, kaya may import, diba? To raise our level din. Yeah. Anyway. Ayun, anyway, sige, actually, sige. <laughs> Nako, this, ang hirap naman. Pokari, sino ba nun? Myla? Myla yeah, Pablo. You had Myla, Open. you had Giselle C, Kai, uh, si Pang, si Dadang, si Kasilag. And, mm. and here's the catch though. You had going for both. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Sige, oh, si Pai. Yun nga, actually, nung inisip ko, inisip ko yun eh. Parang, ang hirap isipin sino magta-champion between the two. So, let's make it by points. So, oh, since wow, going, okay. so, so, since going, and then pare, so one point each. <laughs> ano bang tayo na lang? Tayo. So, pare, so one point each. So, sa open, oh my gosh, it's Gemma and dalawang MVP sa cream line eh. Ang hirap. Ay, pero bang tie? It's a tie. Wait, let. Sige. Cream line. Sige, fine. Bigyan natin yung open kay cream line. So, lamang sila doon. Wow. Two points. Sa gitna, of course, Panaga. Panaga blocker namin. Setter, ang hirap. Ang hirap. Oh, sige. Ang hirap. Nawala lang sa po. Setter, like, different experiences ako with them, eh. Like, hmm. si Giselle C. As in, mabilis, eh. Mabilis talaga siya mag-ano. Tapos parang, lagi yung binibigay si gitna, gitna, gitna. As in, like, Uh, yun, mabilis talaga mag-isip din si, ano, si, I mean, mabilis mag-set and mag, ano, pinapagalaw niya talaga yung gitna, si Giselle C. With Gia, is more of a cerebral, cerebral player na, alam mo yung, discarte talaga kay Gia and more of, like, technical sa kanya 
na alam niya kayo yung ibibigay. Mm-hmm. So, one point each. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> same lang yung so, it's a tie pa rin. <laughs> Oo, oh, lamang sila. Ano ka ba? Utility. Ah. I love Kai. I love you, Kai. <laughs> Pero kasi Michelle gumabaw eh. Ano ba? I mean, I don't hate her. Like, nung college days, like, I don't like her kasi siya yung blocker ko. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he was a good blocker. blocker. <laughs> ah, yeah, parang siya yung nakatapat sa akin. I told her that, timid ko siya ngayon eh, pero, parang, oh my gosh, ito yung blocker ko lagi. Pero, check out, check out. <laughs> even now, like, even now, kahit sa clean line, um, siya pa rin blocker ko. Kasi siya, pre, first six versus second six. So, fine. Oh, outside, ay, ano pa, uh, utility, bigyan natin kay MG. Four. Si cream, cream line. line so, cream line wins. Siyempre, team ko. Okay. Cream line wins. <laughs> <laughs> team ko kay cream line wins. Pero ano nga, Phil, ah, I, I love how you broke it down. Yeah. Oh, I love how you broke it down. Ka. Talagang I nag-analyze ka. Eh. You really analyzed it. Yeah. You know what you should have done for the libero? It should have been Kyla and Mel. Yeah, sabi niya, go hang eh. <laughs> oh my, you should have done that. Wala na ka na sa civil. <laughs> well, kasi si Kyla, alam mo ba, nung nag-champion kami, kasi like, napapamura na lang ako sa kanya. Kasi like, kunyari, tune up game. Tune up lang naman. Siyempre, second, first, six. Kahit tune up. I mean, like, kami kami, training. Training lang naman. Parang, siyempre, ano ako, sleeper ako. Tapos maya-maya, napapamura lang ako na parang, ha, oh, nandun na siya, sabi ko na kung ano yung bola. So, nung, dun talaga, I mean, nag-step up talaga sila. Gemma and Kyla that year na 2019 no, nung nag-national team sila Alisa and Gia kasi ano tayo nun eh kahit yung mga lahat ng teams eh um, butas-butas yung yung ano eh yung lineup kasi nga syempre priority national team so yun talaga sobrang uh, idol ko sila nung parang nag-step up sila for the team I can say na nag-step up sila Cream Line! Nalo Cream Line team ko ngayon eh di ba? <laughs> <laughs> so, well, talking fun. about Dreamline, you guys have been very successful in recent years. I mean, uh, even without GN mm-hmm. Eliza, you guys were winning because there are many step up sa inyo and mm-hmm. there are superstars in the team. But how do you guys yeah. make it work? What are the key to success? Nyo? I mean, uh, syempre, nasabi ko, alam nyo naman na ang dami ko ng teams na na, na, um, na kasama and na pagdaan, na pagdaan, hindi, ang dami ko na na teams na napuntahan and I guess, yung, yung sa cream line lang, I guess, for us na makikita mo yung dedication, especially our team captain, strict si Eliza. <laughs> Nahilito ko ni, hilito ni Elian, parang, <laughs> parang pag sa set, sabihin niya, sabihin ni ano, sabihin ni Eliza 100 sa sabi ni Ella. Yun lang ba? <laughs> Pero para strict si Ella. Strict si Eliza sa team. And like, nakita mo yung um, discipline and what's that word? Yung compassion. More compassion for the team ng everyone na hindi mo papabayaan yung team. Like, nung nag, eto nga, nag-pandemic. Like, si Eliza or like, someone, parang kaming mga na, Um, players nag-initiate na we're training tayo start na tayo online training Zoom kahit three times a week pag di kaya okay lang kasi it's pandemic it's hard for everyone adjusting to this new um, normal ba? Diba? and um, during normal times ng mga games I mean alam mo naman si coach tayo may pa homework it helps ha it helps the the homework na the one you uh, it really helps especially si Mel nakikita ko siya, nag-notes lang, and nag-notes siya ng games, and kanyari, ipapasok ko ni Coach siya yung mag-review, sa ko, wait, 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 santo, santo. <laughs> yeah. Sabi ko, santo, santo, ayun, dyan, 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 dyan. Oh, sige, sige, sa akin to. It really helps. Na yeah. may, yung, the homework helps, ka. makita mo, like, if you review it before the game, na we watch pre, um, post-game, ganon, it really helps. Then, eh, syempre, si Coach tayo din strict din yun, di ba? Naka, na-experience mo siya. Which I appreciate na when I chose a team, sabi ko, gusto ko ma-experience si Coach Tai para makita ko lang din anong ginawa niya ba't nag-champion at hindi yun. Kami hindi. Joke na. Hindi. Pero na-excite ako kasi parang international coach din naman, di ba? Mm-hmm. And, ayun, nakita mo na strict si Coach Tai. What I learned, well, yung mga gusto mag-ano dyan kay Coach Tai, sumali. Dapat bibo ka. I mean, like, dapat ano ka talaga. Kahit second six ako, 
I mean, may, may playing time ako for him kasi dapat vivo ka sa training. Makita mo, ma, ano talaga eh, pag nakita mo na ng coach nyo na nag-effort ka sa training, like, nag-cheer, kahit taga-cheer lang ako, pero may bonus ako, di ba? Champion kami, may bonus ako. Cheer-cheer lang ako dyan. I mean, like, di ba? You really have to find a way na to motivate yourself, to motivate your players, your teammates, na parang cheer-cheer lang ako dyan. Isang kinikilig na ako sa kanila kasi ang galing nila. <laughs> ang galing na mga, ang galing na mga teammates ko, di ba? So, ayun din, kay coach tayo. And even kahit sa anong coach, kahit, kahit, um, kahit anong team, kahit kaninong team, kahit kaninong coaches, kailangan mo pakita na motivated ka na, I mean, gusto mong mag-training, di ba? Gusto mong mag-improve, ganon. And, I think for Creamline, yun nga rin din. Yung pinang number one, siguro yung compassion namin sa isa't isa na hindi namin pababayain yung sarili namin na ma, ma- no one, nobody left, get left behind. Nga rin, kung may, kailang, kung may isang player na struggle, parang andyan sila, Alisa, yung mga ate, mga, mga ate, to help you, and ano, di ba? Like, lalo na yung may mga bago kami, mga baguets na players, na sila Panaga, and sila, sila Tots Carlos, di ba? Even sila said, yung mga bagong pasok din sila, Kyle, di ba? Kailangan din ng guidance na, oh, this is work, na parang, yun, yun kasi panagak, kinausap ko rin na parang, uy, pabibo ka lang kay Coach Tai, gusto ko naman yan, go, go. <laughs> you know, pakita mo lang na excited ka, na like, gusto mo lagi nandito ka, uh, may playing kita yung kanan yan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yun naman talaga yung, I think, so, minsan yung vibe mo, yung good vibe, na pinapakita mo, it will reflect din naman, makakaha- nakakahawa din naman din sa mga tao. ba? Diba? Wow. Uh, ito, I have another story. Um, I rem- <laughs> I, naalala ko lang kasi, Phil. Uh, I remember I was covering the UAP finals. Yung Ateneo UST. Di ba nanood ka? Nanood ka mm-hmm. na live. You watch live. And the, yeah. ca- the camera focused on you. And I have to apologize. Mm. I have to apologize because you were with one of your kids. But mm. I wasn't sure if it was Phil Renee or if it was Lily Saint. Yeah. I, wa- I wasn't sure. So nung game three na, I remember magka-message kami ni Gretchen. Tapos mm. tinan- tinanong ko si Gretch. I said, Gretch, who is the baby that Phil, Phil brought to the last game? And then, nat- tinawanan mm-hmm. niya ako. Sabi niya, di mo na alam mo. Yeah. So, sabi ko, was... <laughs> so, ayun, she told me, uh, it was it Phil Rene? Or was I it L- Lily Saint? I have so much skin. So, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All that matters is you take care of all of them. Yeah. So, I how mean, do you do it? I... So, how do you do it? I mean, like, the uh, professional volleyball player, you have to keep yourself in shape. You, you have to attend to, yeah. to Lino and, you know, attend to the kids. Man, like, looking at you now, you don't, you don't look stressed at all. Like, my God. Thanks. Like, how do you do it? How do you do it? Minsan, it's all a blur. <laughs> it's all a blur. But, I guess, yun nga, I have a good partner, si Lino. Like, when I say na si Kukaya, he really, he like tag team talaga like tag team like yesterday yesterday lang um he was home finally home he didn't go home for a week kasi nga he went around the hospitals and vaccination hubs so like, yesterday nakanap ako nakanap ako yesterday kasi he was around so parang yung tag team lang, lang din talaga and I guess the kids naman there are a handful I, I do admit there are a handful pero um of course kaya naman that's why I love working naging morning morning person talaga ako ever since pero I love working out in the morning kasi walang gulo wala pang ano so parang ang sarap na naging habit ko na to work out in the morning and then homeschooling medyo yung umpisa at challenging talaga sa akin yung homeschooling kasi parang tatlo sila tapos parang sabay-sabay yung schedule parang paano ko gagawin to and then the, yun lang after homeschooling we sometimes go to grandma's house nung GCQ na, di ba? Nakakalabas-labas. Pero now na MECQ sa bahay lang ulit, like, I tried my best. I got them toys and bikes. So, dito indoor, nagbabike sila. <laughs> so, parang, I really tried it. And sometimes nga, there are good days and there are bad days. Talaga. I mean, I, I guess for all moms there, it's okay na to have a good day. It's okay to have a bad day. Na parang sometimes, hindi mo kaya. Pero it's okay na parang, hindi mo kaya, just like, 
and just hide. Sometimes I run, sometimes I hide. <laughs> you know, but uh, I don't know how I do it. I guess I can if I can share lang siguro na na realize ko na um na nakapagod din talaga kung nasa bahay kasi nung 2019 ata we went to Thailand our team Creamline nagtraining sa Thailand for 14 days or 2 weeks and morning and afternoon training yun eh so after morning training na realize ko wala akong ginagawa parang ang dami ko pang energy ang dami ko pang parang hindi ako sanay na hihigaan na lang and then that's when I realized na ah oh, kaya pala kasi um after training, he, new normal, nung, nung normal days pa natin, after training, I pick up the kids, I have other work pa, I, ano, I play with them. Yun pala, yun po, doon ko na-realize na iba rin talaga kapag nag, nasa bahay ka then with the kids and training then nakapagod. Pero, kaya naman, pero yung training na sa land, parang naka-close lang kayo doon. Nakakatulong din actually. Parang kaya nga, kung may offer then na, uh, training sa Thailand. Kaya two weeks lang naman. <laughs> Kaya ko two weeks lang. Parang go ako. Kung yari kung may ano ulit na Thailand training. Go ako kasi parang makakafocus ka talaga. It really helped ha. Yung mga, iniisip nyo ng mga training ng mga college, even club teams sa abroad. It really helped the players. Kasi nga, mas focus talaga eh. Compared na here sa Manila. Pero yun nga, parang part of my routine na yun eh, na ang sarap na after training. Like, I get to work three hours a day. That's the best. Three hours a day in the morning and I get to pick them up. I get to play with them. I get to ano, go to the mall to with them. Diba? So parang, as long as I can play naman and be a mama, why not? Diba? So they can, the kids can see me play. Yan naman talaga why, the, the reason why I play pe, na parang to show the kids na mama still plays volleyball or I play volleyball. And yun, as long as I can play, I want to play then. Diba? So makiling ko may mga 10 years pa ako sa career ko. <laughs> Be like LeBron. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ten years pa kasi, may 10 years pa ako sa career. And by that time, siguro yung malaki yung kids. So, feeling ko maglalago na sila. And like, even now, sila, you know, sila, kayo na, si Lily, pinakabad ako ng bola sa akin. Volleyball. Sa partner ko. Kasi may drill kami. Tip to wall. Eh, wala naman akong wall sa bahay na pwede kong mag-walling. So, sabi nila, at mama feel, May mga anak ka ba dyang, ano, mataga ba ito sa iyo? Ko, wala eh. Tapos nakita ko yung anak ko. So, pinatuhan niya akong bola. Si Lily! <laughs> si Lily! Nagbabato ng bola sa akin. To dive. To dive, ha? Already? Pagka, pagkadig kong ganun, magkagawa ganun siya kasi feeling niya tatamaan siya. Sabi niya, Mama, yung want hit me, ha? Because you're a good mother. <laughs> Kasi natatakot siya pagka, di ba, mag-dive dig ka kung ganyan. Papalik sa kanya. Hindi naman siya magaling ba mag-catch. Sugo ka ganun siya. Kaya, paulit ulit, mama, you won't hit me, okay? Because you're a good mother. <laughs> oh, yun lang. I mean, um, it's fun. Nakakapagod minsan. Pero um, there's coffee. There's always coffee. <laughs> Ay, like, minsan, to share ko, Ko, kasi si Coach Mark yung trainer and he really watched our fitness. May mga fitness test kami every three months. Ay ko, Coach Mark, hindi ko kinahin tatlong cans of coffee up to days. <laughs> Yan o. Know? Parang hindi talaga kaya. Kasi like, kinyari, 6 a.m. training, gano'n. Tapos, homeschool pa. Tapos, may activities for the kids or like, playtime. Or gusto ko mag-nap. Maya-maya, gigisingin ka talaga nila. <laughs> Yeah, it's fun. I mean, ngayon na uh, lockdown and pandemic, bawal sila lumabas. I really try to do stuff. Bumili na ako ng indoor playground. <laughs> para lang, para lang talaga maalis sila. Like, hindi ko lang kung kasha. Sige, bahala na. Hindi ko lang kung kasha. So, pero ba? we're still blessed and fortunate to provide them this stuff na if you can't go to the playground, bring the playground to them. <laughs> yeah, kasi close sa mga planes. Eh. Kasi dati, like, the team would be afternoons, they really go out here sa common area and sa playground. Kaya, yun. Yun lang, magiging mommy. And, yun lang naman yung routine, daily life. <laughs> and it's a good one. It, it's, yeah. it, it, you're, you're living your best life despite these times that, you know, we're experiencing. And, uh, we're very happy for you, Phil. Oh, thank you. 
Thank you, Anto. Thank you, Dan. So you shared that you have so much to do during the day. So thank you oh. na nasikin po interview with us. <laughs> of course, of course. It for us. It's an honor to have you on the show. Oh, thank you. Very valuable yung mga shinare mo sa amin. Ah. That's Thank you. Napakatita ba ng snare ko? Pero at least, di ba? I mean, like, sa mga young ones there, yeah. di ba? Maging bibo ka lang. Pakita mo sa coach mo. <laughs> di ba? Ganun lang naman yung technique. Have that yeah. good mindset. Positive yeah. attitude. Good vibes. For us. Thank you so much, Phil. And to our viewers, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you on the next episode. Thank you for watching Volleyball DNA. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notified for future episodes and interview highlights. And while you're at it, head over to our Facebook page by clicking on the link in the description.